taking the time for us today at Monsters and Critics. Um, congrats of on D-Day. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, could you um, break down a little bit of the premise of what you can share about the premise of this story? Uh, yeah, uh, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it's, um, it's basically about uh, the first Army Rangers that went in uh, on D-Day. Um, everybody, everybody knows about Omaha beach, the big, you know, beach that everybody stormed, but what most people don't know about is on the same day, um, there was about 200 soldiers, um, led by uh, Colonel Rudder, um, who's actually played by my dear, dear friend, uh, Weston Cage Coppola in the film. Uh, it's totally random that we both ended up booking the leads in this, in this movie. Um, and these men were ordered to take out these cannons that were pointed at Omaha Beach, uh, six cannons, and they would have, you know, it would have killed thousands of men if they were able to use them. And so um, basically they had to storm this beach and climb up these cliffs that they shot like these grappling ropes that they had to, to uh, climb up. And I mean, they were literally just picked off. Um, by the German soldiers. Um, anyway, when they stormed the beach, you know, uh, it's a grueling story. I mean, so many men lost their lives. Uh, they ended up finding these cannons inland. They weren't where they were supposed to be. The intel was wrong. Um, mm -hmm. So it's just this whole journey of what they went through, you know, from the LCAs on the water to getting on the beach, to fighting the men on the beach, to getting to fighting inland, all these Nazis. And it's really an incredible story. And it's all true. This all really happened. And um, I mean, it was considered one of the most dangerous missions of that day, um, aside from what was going on, on, you know, the the Omaha Beach. But it's a pretty incredible story, you know. And of course, we have uh, Randy Couture and Chuck Liddell, who were fantastic in the film, so fun to work with. Um, but yeah, it's a really remarkable story about these brave, brave men who who were able to do this and accomplish it, and they were victorious. That's incredible. Um, so, did that happen before the the storming of the beach on Normandy, or was it at the same time? It was at the same time. It was a little bit before, um, a little bit before the actual um, storming, uh, the Operation Overlord, when they hit the Omaha Beach. Wow. And then some of a lot of the men from this mission were actually uh, sent to go over to Omaha Beach because they were they were able to to take over the uh, the cliffs. So they sent the reserves over to Omaha. So, wow. Yeah. That's incredible. Pretty amazing. So, these are Rangers, is that correct? Yeah, so these were the, they were actually, I believe they were the first Rangers because they were trained by the British commandos, okay. which was like, you know, the elite force of that time. And so these these Rangers were actually considered, um, you know, specially trained uh, even for this um, mission, you know, the kind of training they went through, uh, climbing these ropes, all this kind of training. And it was just it's really amazing what they went through. And it's, it's so awesome that we get to share the story because most people don't know about the Battle of Point du Hoc, which is where this, you know, the cliffs were in France and, um, you know, is where these, the Germans had these bunkers and these, these huge cannons that they had there. Um, so it's a pretty, it's a really cool story that most people don't know about. What was it like uh, preparing for that? Like, what, what kind of stuff did you have to do? You know, it sounds like you were doing some climbing and some crazy stuff. Like, what kind of was your prep and, and what was it like on set? You know, no, you can't share everything, but is there anything you can tell me about? Yeah, I mean, it was, um, it was, what's funny is that my, my, my friend Weston and I, you know, we, when we found out that we had booked this movie, you know, we immediately kind of started him and I are both huge history buffs. So it was great for us. And we were so excited. And immediately we just kind of dove into this world, into this, you know, this, this era of, you know, the 1940s. And we did so much research, you know, looking at all these documentaries about, you know, World War II and D-Day and everything that went on and our characters and their history, where they were from. Um, and, you know, my character, uh, Leonard Lamel was from New York originally. And then, you know, he ended up getting like the second highest honor you could get during the war. Um, so it was really, it was really an amazing learning experience. And it was, you know, I've done a lot of different types of movies and it was the most exhausting movie I've ever done. I mean, we, it was, there was so much physicality so much running you're running around with all these all your gear on you know you're in these uncomfortable shoes that of the time um you know carrying all these these you know these fake guns and everything and running on the beach i mean there was one day where we were just literally running on the beach for eight hours constantly i mean we were exhausted shouting screaming you know we had the the special effects guy shooting um 
shooting uh, uh what do you call them dust balls at us with a paintball gun you know the little round things okay. you know shooting those at our feet and near us and i mean it was it was it was amazing and but very but extremely exhausting and you know it was we we it was funny we kept looking at each other wes and i we were like can you imagine what these guys actually like were going through at the time i mean it was it was very real to us i mean obviously it wasn't the real thing but you know, to, to be running on the beach and then, you know, to be pretending to be firing at these Germans and then storming and climbing the, the wall and everything. I mean, it was really, we felt like we were back in time and it was, it, it was, it, it just, it kind of connected us to these characters from that time period. And it gave us such an amazing learning experience of what those men actually went through, which was, it's unbelievable, unbelievable that these guys were able to do that. I mean, it's the, the heroism is just, it's, it's incredible, just incredible. Awesome. So, so, wow. I can't imagine having to run for eight hours on the beach. Yeah. And it was like, there were days where it was like, it was raining. I mean, we were wet. I mean, it was just, but you know, the funny thing is like, you know, we were so committed to our characters and for the story, like we just didn't, we never like complained. We were like, all right, this is like, you know, these guys never had a chance to complain about the thing back then. So we were like, we don't have anything to complain about because when we, when we're done with the tank, we can go get a bottle of water. Yeah. A snack or whatever you know or some of the guys taking smoke breaks or whatnot you know and we were authentic man i was smoking lucky strikes the whole time you know it was i was trying to be as authentic as possible and but it was yeah i mean it was grueling just grueling for everybody you know it wasn't easy and then we had all these other different locations we shot in san pedro at this military base and mm-hmm. um it was just it was incredible you know it was not an easy shoot but it's uh it's just uh, you know i've seen the movie and it's absolutely fantastic that's awesome so what was it like uh, working? I know you, it was you, Weston Cage, it was Chuck Liddell and Randy Cooks, or that's like the main cast, am I correct on that? Yeah, yeah, and then we have all of our other, you know, David Tom, who's great, um, you know, he was on like Young and the Restless for years, we became friends with him, he's fantastic, and okay. um, and Jeff Mead, who's actually the writer, who plays one of my dear friends in the movie, he was incredible to work with, okay. and um yeah, Chuck was great. Super nice guy. Uh, mm-hmm. Had a lot of fun with him. Uh, watched a lot of his work. He he and Weston worked a lot together in this in this project, and uh, he was just such a nice guy. And it was so fun to see some of these uh, you know these guys coming in and just do, being a part of this story. You know, I think everybody I think everybody loves World War II movies. You know, you never you never want to turn them down. They're just there's there's so much like grit and like you know, energy and the style and the theme of World War II. It's just almost like it's like romantic in a way. You always want to go and do these movies, you know? Um, yeah. And then, and Randy was awesome too. Uh, I worked with Randy on the, I was with him on the day that he was shooting on this big battleship and he was just fantastic. You know, he was really super nice guy suit, you know, very much to himself. And, uh, he just was very positive, took his work seriously. And, we just had a great time, a lot of laughs as well. You know, that was the only thing that kind of kept us all going was like the laughter and like making fun of ourselves while we were doing this because it was cold, it was wet. It, we were, every day we were so dirty. I mean, like you'd come <laughs> home and you'd shower and you just have like your bathtub would look like like dirt on the ground. You know, it was just like, it was, um, it was, it was hilarious. So we would make jokes all the time. We're like, well, this is it, man. We're just, we're here. It's yeah. messy, it's gross, but we're doing it, you know? That's awesome. So, I mean, that sounds like an incredible chemistry you guys had. Just like a really good time between yeah. you. Yeah, that's awesome. It was, I mean, the, the, funny, the funny story, which, I mean, the fact that Wes and I got this movie together and the fact that we've known each other for over 10 years and like, <laughs> yeah. you know, we're like brothers. Like we've traveled the world together. Literally, yeah. I was on the freeway and he called me and I called him. I was like, oh yeah, I got this call back. I'm really excited about it. He's like, oh, I got a call back too. I'm super stoked. And I was like, oh, that's great. I was like, yeah, mine's a World War II movie. He's like, mine's a World War II movie. And then he said, he said, is it D-Day? And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me right now? You're auditioning for this too? He's like, yes. And he told me his character name. And then we were just flipping out. And then eventually we found out that we both got it. And we were just like, I mean, we like hug each other. We were like, can't believe we're doing this. And I think that when you see the film, you'll see that kind of bond. Mm-hmm. For, for being portrayed into the movie yeah. um which i think it gave it that extra element and made it really special you know we were always pushing each other you know like we would literally go to set together we would drive down together we would be listening to videos on the way down of like uh you know the world war ii history and all that stuff and you know getting the lingo down perfecting our accents talking to each other in character you know we were him and i are a little bit method and um you know it was just it was an awesome experience, and a lot of people are going to really enjoy it and see the history of these of this of these 
these men and what they did and, you know, have a much more respect for some of these other guys that, that weren't just on, you know, Omaha beach and that stuff, because it's just, it's an incredible story. And Nick Lyon, the director was just a fearless guy. Mm -hmm. I trusted him so much and he was just great. You know, no matter what, no matter what he wanted, we just went in there and, 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 and did it. It was, it was great. And he was right there with us every time when it was raining, no matter what was going on, he was right there focused, ready for us to like, you know, ready to get these shots. It was, it was great. That's so cool. So I know that you guys, you and Weston Cage are more experienced actors. And then you've got Chuck Liddell and Randy Couture. And, and I'm sure you know, like, their history in the MMA. You know, mm -hmm. was there some, like, back and forth as far as you helping them with acting at all? And then, you know, maybe... I think, I think Weston probably, uh, he had more scenes. He had more, much more scenes with them than I did. Um, and I think that he was able... I remember him telling me that he and Chuck, like, had a really good bond going going on um and you know they were helping each other with some lines because there's a lot of this like military lingo that can be really difficult you know for chuck's character he had he was playing a general so he had all this military language he had to get down so weston was really helpful with that familiar with that you know every day when we were all on set we were talking about what we were doing that day and how realistic it was and the experience of what the real men went through um it was just it was it was a very surreal experience you know it was funny like after shooting that movie, I was so invested in what we were doing that I, when I came back into the real world, like two weeks later, I actually went into like a time warp. Like I, I remember I went to like the ATM machine to get some money for something. Yeah. And I was looking around at everybody and I was like, I don't think any of these people really understand like, like what, what, what men went through to get here just to like be, you know what I mean? It was really, it was really kind of funny. So that's incredible. I mean, those, I think when I think about world war two, I think that, might be like one of our finest moments you know as a country i think it's so defining and i think that's why you see it so much in cinema and seeing it do well in cinema is because it kind of that's like where we kind of bonded as a country i think i totally agree it's yeah. like it, it was such a time of like everybody coming together for this unified you know goal to like um basically free the world from this this horrible situation that was going on and I mean, it was, it was, you really felt it. I, I feel like even today's, you know, in this, in the world we're living in right now, because there's just, unfortunately, so much going on, but I just feel like a little bit of that camaraderie is just lost, you know, a bit. I really feel like that, you know, um, yeah, and I just feel like it's, it'd be nice to kind of get back to that a little bit. There was this, this sense of, um, you know, we're all doing this together, um, you know, for, for, a, for a great purpose to help save the world. And, yeah, I just wish there was a little bit more of that kind of brotherly bond between everybody and other countries as well, you know? Yeah. Um, do you have any specific stories or fun stuff that you want to share from from filming that <laughs> happened on set that just stood out as fun or different? Oh, man. I should have remembered this before I did this. Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, we did so much laughing. I mean, there were so many times where... Um, you know, even on the beach, we were doing, we made all this, like, I remember, this was a good one. I remember there's a scene where we're running on the beach, we come out of the LCAs and we run to this wall. And like, you know, we probably did it like 12 times because there was like, you know, dozens and dozens of guys and all these extras and they had all these special effects and all these explosions and stuff. Yeah. And I remember like, <laughs> I remember we'd be running, we'd do this take, it'd be like take five and we'd be so exhausted. Our voices were gone from yelling. And, you know, we're like, get to the wall, get to the wall up top, you know, and, and firing our guns. And, and I remember like they cut and the director would be like, okay, guys, one more, like, like, like it was nothing. And I would literally shout out and be like, F you, Nick, you know, shouting at him. He's like, yeah, I was like, you come here and do this. And, um, you know, it's just like, literally, we, we, after he'd do a take, we cut, we would literally fall on the ground for like a few minutes and just be like, and we were so tired that we had to just take those few minutes, dump water in our faces and then do it all over again. I mean, that was you know, there were so many fun moments like that. Um, and then, you know, the other thing was like the, the fun camaraderie between all the guys. I mean, we were all like brothers for this, for the several weeks that we were shooting, you know, and you really felt that bond between all of us. We really had each other's backs, whether it was like helping each other with dialogue or, you know, making like, you'd have one of the guys come up to you and they'd like straighten your uniform out and like, make sure you're good, slap your helmet or whatever. You know, it was like this really cool friendship we created with everybody. That's so awesome. Well, thank you so much, man. Um, yeah. That's incredible. I really look forward to the movie. And, uh, I like it. A lot of cool action and, you know, great acting from everybody. Uh, it was such an honor to play this character and, and, you know, tell these guys' story. It was just, it was a great experience. And I hope that, you know, everybody sees we, we do these guys justice. Cool.
Well, thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you.